So you've got shortcuts set up on your iPhone. Meanwhile, your MacBook is just sitting there like, am I a joke to you? Shortcuts don't just run on your iPhone. Your MacBook can do all that and then some. It can trigger automations when you enter a focus mode, when you add files to a folder, or even just after you take a screenshot, which means your computer can actually get to work before you do anything. Here are three ways I actually use shortcuts on my Mac and how you can use them to get your computer to work harder than you. Number one, rearranging my windows and setting up my workspace. Sometimes I need to see two windows, sometimes I need to see four. So I saved these shortcuts to a widget right on my desktop. Now I just click and my workspace rearranges. I'm not accidentally launching full screen mode while I'm trying to resize my windows. Number two, naming my screenshots. I set up an automation for this one and now anytime I take a screenshot, my computer automatically looks at what's in the picture and names it accordingly. So it basically took my screenshot folder from a digital landfill to a searchable library. And number three, it takes my videos and turns them into transcripts. Whenever I drop a new video into this folder on my computer, my Mac automatically transcribes it and adds that transcript to a new note. Then it moves that file to another folder so I know it's already been handled. Now I can search through my posts right inside my notes app. Your MacBook can literally rearrange your windows, rename your files, and transcribe your content all without you lifting a finger. Because you don't just have a laptop, you have an app actual assistant. It's time to start delegating like a manager. Drop a comment below if you want to see how I set mine up. Save this if you're ready to make your MacBook earn its keep.